The first time I ever heard about visual vernacular was in high school. One of my good friends there was on stage and I was so fascinated by it. You didn't use any types of like finger spelling or numbers and not really language. You did more gesturing and he said, oh, it's VV. Visual vernacular was really originated for storytellers. But if I'm, you know, telling somebody a story in visual vernacular and then I start utilizing more of the ASL, it, it's not visual vernacular anymore. Maybe I'm in a different country and we don't speak the same language, we don't use the same language. It, it's really a, a backup method of communication. That's why I think visual vernacular is important. So I'm going to give you a little basics about visual vernacular. It's not using sign language. It is actually, you know, gesturing and making pictures. And I believe anybody can do those. Really, their fascination and their passion and inquisition just really f gives me fuel. It really fuels me to want to teach more, and I want to see these kids grow. Hi everyone, I am Caroline and I'm a junior here and my story is my mom giving birth to my twin sister and then me. telling stories. Honestly, there's a lot of reasons why, but I grew up with a deaf family and I'm a fifth generation deaf person. And so now my son's sixth generation and that's very rare. My son and I, we always do one particular story about monster trucks. I would stand behind my son with my son in front of me. And so I was essentially the props for my son as he's gesturing and signing. I'd be the lights or the audience or the water streaming by. And my son would be performing as a man, you know, with his helmet and his big old goggles. And he climbs into the monster truck. And I'm in the back being the, the engine and the lights. And the lights, you know, turn green and we start going. And I'm the wind in the back. And that's really one of his favorites. So I'm the props. It's hard to find words to describe the feeling. It just makes my heart melt and, you know, my heart races. And I feel like glowing when I see my son doing that. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely my passion. Because visual vernacular, it, it's an art and it's, you know, it's open to everyone. Anyone can really understand it. I travel, you know, all over the country and I always use visual vernacular all the time. It doesn't matter who I'm talking to, deaf people, hearing people, it's a very, you know, easy way of communication and understanding and it's just really a part of me.